I think anywhere that's going to increase it by more than 500 is a worthwhile investment at this point. That doesn't cover many places, and I know I'm pretty blind here. Jinx, it's just throwing money at me. What did I do to deserve this? I've done terrible things. Mm, obviously, we are incorruptible. Jake, change your attitude towards Warsangali. Oh, why am I so hostile towards them? I am friendly. I am a lovely guy. Maybe I shouldn't be telling them that I want their only province. I wonder if Ethiopia is going to start claiming that province as their own. Ethiopia wouldn't be doing jack if I was allied to them. And where, is, where are these provinces? Mbula. Wonderful province in my culture group. 223, but it deals in grain, so forget getting that uh, diplomatic stuff on the go. I do like having base tax, but... Well, there's no but to that. I do like having base tax, even though I think earlier I got rid of base tax for the nobility. Cursed nobility. Can't trust them. And I've got a, uh, another opening for another Kadok. I'm going to be needing Kadoks. I'm only too happy to get more of them on the go. With this, I should have enough to stage a decent invasion of my Madagascan friends here. But I have to pay attention. They're at military tech 11. I should probably invest in getting that myself, since that extra bit of infantry shock is going to hurt. And their army is probably going to be pretty good. 16,000 of. It's only really going to be worthwhile if I'm able to land with enough of my own. And there's no guarantees that I can. There's no easy way in here. And their capital is fairly central. They'd be able to react to any landings that I make across the board. I guess I could make a decent attempt at going south. Since even then is a wee bit of a walk. Not so much to the north. But if I uh, grab the... If I grab the jungles there, I might be in for an easier time. Also, they have no forts, so I should be able to roll over them. This is the plan, at least, but I have a whole bunch of claims that I need to fabricate on them. Kiowa seems unwilling to go for any or many of them. Of course, that uh, good old hard mode, reducing the likelihood of people wanting to ally me, even if they are uh, itty-bitty Warsangali. Actually, if I threw a gift their way, they would be more likely to ally me. And I'm a generous guy. Here you go. Whoa, they're greedy. They need a whole 50 ducats. Might be a little premature to do this, but I'm going to do it anyway. Because like I said, I'm a nice guy. That 37 aggressive expansion is going to hurt with this, but I want Warsangali on my side. See, they have Somali traditions, and there is a user around here called Hydronum. I trust most of you know him. He's a big fan of Warsan Gali, and I'm a big fan of him, so... What goes around comes around. <laughs> Incorruptible. Let's be friendly, my friend. Ah, yes, royal marriage. Hell, uh, you're a little old, but... Well, no buts. Actually, maybe I should be the one to marry you. Jinx, I, uh, you'd get blind looking at this marriage. Still, though, that's a little short of what I need. Can uh, share some maps. No, not share some maps. Share some military access, although sharing the maps might not be the worst of ideas. Because he's, he's probably got some knowledge that I want to know about. Okay, growth admi administration, yada yada. Diplomatic relations is unimportant to me completely, and our autonomy is fine. So I think we should get that trade power. Nobility won't be happy, but the merchant guild certainly will. And really, who cares about the nobility? Actually, the nobility uh, are one of the few that I can actually cheese off here. Oh well, I'll do it anyway. I quite like those good old merchant guilds guy. Z. Plus, they give me ducats when I'm in need. I often forget about that one. Draft ships for war can be so useful, and yet I keep forgetting it. I would need more home ports, of course, but I think I should check it out. Well, I'm going to need to integrate my good friends here to begin with anyway. 
So we're close, but we're not quite close enough. We don't sure we do not share trade power with them in anywhere in particular, but that can be changed. All I have to do is oh, I can't even reach that trade node, and I don't think they have any power here, do they? Ah, uh, such a shame. I could reach Ethiopia, but um, where do you even have uh, merchants placed in? Well, familiarize yourself myself with your flag. There, naturally, it doesn't seem that you do anything there. How about here? Nothing. I guess they don't get up to too much. At least nothing that I can see. Okay, but that will be sorted once I integrate my good buddy here. It's also a shame because it's going to give me a uh, hit to my... Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Diplomatic influence. Diplomatic reputation, that's the one. But I could always subsidize the guys. Give them a nice chunk of money. I'm not gonna do that for all that long. Oh man, goodbye royal marriage. But that means that they died and got a regency. With a bit of luck, they'll do another one for me. They might not though. Okay, I don't care if my estates are disloyal. Why does France have power in Zanzibar, Jake? Have they taken the Cape? Most likely. I mean, they were colonizing here. And I am not colonizing on purpose. Let's get that royal marriage on the go again. Because we need good relations here. Okay, this is troublesome. I need to get trade power from them. And apparently we still don't share any power anywhere. Uh, which means I need to go here and I say transfer trade power with my Great Lakes guy. Because it doesn't matter where the Great Lakes individual goes to. Because in the end it'll all go to Zanzibar. But I still need to get that trade power from you. The more I can get, the more of a relation boost there is. And we're only just there. Only just. But just is good enough. Welcome to the world of being my vassal. I rather think Ethiopia has a whole bunch of land that should belong back in your competent hands, Warsangali. Also, it's land that I don't have to worry about in terms of coring and such, so let's end that and take stock in our fleet. Also, I didn't really care about... Uh, getting trade power from here, but what I care about is having a lot of control over Zanzibar. Unfortunately, my enemy has a fair chunk as well. Don't think I'll move my... Actually, I'm dripping in admin points. I might as well move my capital. Much as I want some extra uh, admin tech on the go, I really need the dip. So how about I move my capital to... Oh, I don't know. Things I really don't know. What's the most developed province here? Jake, cancel subsidies. Doesn't end when you vassalize. Excellent point. I'll have to end that later on. What would be the most fitting province for us? A gold province, you say? Well, I mean, I'm hard-pressed to disagree with that, but there is a, uh, a fort right here. And I think there's something to be said for a nice virgin province like this. Undeveloped completely. I'd rather get a province that wasn't coastal because coastal is uh, extra cost for developing. But I think you're not going to get much other than that around here. Alright, this'll do. Welcome to our new cap. But hold that thought. They're all states at the moment, or rather, they are territories. Let's make them into estates. It's worth, uh, worth making sure it's worthwhile. Like these two provinces really. They are high development, so this would be a lovely state to have. How many states do I have available to me? Loads. I'll just state it all. I'll have it all. Gotta get that money rolling on in. Oh, that, that works out rather nicely, I must say. So, welcome to our new capital. Costs quite a bit to move, but that's okay. It's only admin. We've got plenty of that, right? And that allows us to culture shift, but I'd rather not. I would actually rather... Well, I'm going to have to convert these provinces, which is going to be a pain in the bum. I don't like the stability cost guy. I'd rather turn to our clergy and say, give me an inquisitor. Level 3, granted, but I want him. It's going to be half price at the very least. Gives us provinces that we can convert, granted, pretty slowly. But that also means that we can throw down 
Our clergy, who want more provinces anyway, the nobility also wish for provinces. If I'm going to give them anything, I'll need to give them provinces that have relatively high manpower. Not like this one, this one's got plenty going. They want a bit more. That's the problem with people, they always want things from you. Otherwise, I'm quite happy for the clergy to get a good chunk of this, since they are going to help with the conversion. I think we should just start from the bottom up. Of course, the clergy aren't going to be giving me any bonuses unless they are plenty loyal. And I'm sure I can make a generous donation to keep them on my side. And that's going to make it a da- Ah, oh, shoot, this is already fetishist. This one, however, was not. Uh -uh. Still giving us that bonus to missionary strength. That doesn't stop it from being uh, not too easy. Maybe it just doesn't calculate it yet. I'll have to keep my eyes on that. Otherwise, we're looking good. It wants me to conquer provinces off of Ethiopia, but I only want to reconquer provinces from Ethiopia. Big, almost friendless Ethiopia. I'll probably wait until they get into a war with the Ottomans, which is what they're bound to do. But otherwise, I need to set my sights on these individuals. Give me that spy network. Jake, they need 60 influence. Okay. Well, I'm getting the bonus for controlled by clergy. Over 60 loyalty worked for us. Luba is no longer accepted. Ah, that's okay. Comes to Koring, it's only provinces that are in the... Areas that I actually don't want to make into states that demand coring. I'm not too worried about that. I want to convert this province pretty badly, but it takes quite some time. I need my wandering shamans, actually. And damn, I need a theologian for that. Do I have a theologian handy? I do not, but I really want one. This is going to be expensive. And it's going to give you a lot of influence that I don't think I want you to have. But I'm going to give it to you anyway. Give me that theologian. Should have done this beforehand. Oh, better hire the right guy whilst I'm here. Let's just throw our money down the drain because we never needed it to begin with. And get our wandering shamans. Which gives us an extra two missionary strength. And I'm going to fire you and get our guy back. Because pagans need to spread that fetishism far and wide. I think I should focus on dip at this rate, because I am drowning in everything else. Yeah. So, how else are we going to go about this? My spy network grows up a bit slower here, because they're fairly far away from... Oh wait, no, I moved my capital, so that should be okay. Disloyal estates, ideas... Ah, oh, we're looking good. We're pretty damn good. Can also stop giving Warsung Galley some money, even though I kind of like having them. I like them having some money. It does eat into, eat into my own budget, though, so... It's reason enough to get rid of it. State maintenance is starting to add up. But we get more than that back, since all this land has turned into no autonomy, unless there are estates on them. Yeah, and I need to rehire my Inquisitor. Fortunately, they're all half price. So, we chucked away a bit of money, but that's alright. I always save up ten, uh, tons of money for such an occasion. I'm also five over my limit for armies, so let's get everyone back together and figure out how best to uh, sort out my armies here. Because that's going to be important for this attack. It's also going to be good to know what kind of navy I've got. I have 16 boats, so 16 is a good number to have for my offense. So 10, 4, 2. Looks pretty good. Uh, hmm. Alright, we'll get 10, 4, 2 down to Ibo. That's you guys. And the rest of you. 10, 4, 2. Down to Lindy and the rest of you. Eh, you're like a wild card. We'll hold you in Kilwa. Well, maybe not. These guys are going to take attrition marching down together. Nothing that concerned me too much. At least not yet. Gotta get that mercantilism. 
So as we get that spy network all lovely and set up, I'm going to be getting claims on them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven provinces. I want them all. I'm going to take over Madagascar since it is eating into my precious Zanzibar trade. So I've got another merchant that I could be using. You transfer one ducat from here, but we could be getting two ducats if we take it from the Congo. So please transfer trade power instead of using the Gulf of Aden. Then again, I don't really need to have you collecting here. You do give me 10% more and a tiny token amount of... Oh, actually, we get, uh, we get stuff forwarded here anyway. Hmm. Tricky, isn't it? No, you're not good enough. We'll transfer trade power using our sands of our individuals to give us 10% extra trade power for every bit of trade we forward. Which is good for beating out the bets in Maraca, at least for a while. Now I need to strike them before they get military tech 12, because that would be disastrous for any of my landing armies. I also have to hope that six heavies are going to be enough to take on the enemy there. They only have two heavies, so I should be good on that front. Jake, did you move your capital? Yes, indeed, it's right here, with this actually active fort. Let's make it inactive, because we love to live dangerously around here. This fort has become pretty useless, so I'm just going to scrap it. It was nice having there to keep back the rebellion, but now there are no such rebellions. Also, I've got all these guys that I completely forgot about. You got any cavalry? Two of them. Okay. Now yeah, we'll just keep you in Kinga. We'll get rid of the guys here that are putting us... Oh, oh, that's new. Was I able to march you through this? Well, something strange happened. I'll have to look into that later. Okay. Ah, there we go. That's, uh, that's interesting. I'll have to keep that one in mind. Okay, point is, though, a whole bunch of you are going goodbye. Farewell. Nice to know you. To know you? Nice. And I want to keep those claims on the go. I want to fabricate a claim on all, I think it's seven provinces that I have access to. You guys just hang back here as reinforcements. So that's looking good. It's looking damn good. So, Mare Nostrum released over 24 hours ago. I take it uh, quite a few of you in chat play this game, since you do watch it. So, uh... Have you got any feedback? I'll take good and bad, because I have thick enough skin to hear when things are not so good. And creative criticism is, of course, the best criticism. Is it creative? Creative criticism? Can't remember if that's the right term. But to be fair, I've been really tired, because post-release support is, uh, if anything, more tiring than actually getting the game ready to boot out the door. So I'm going to get that relations up with my good vassal, which I uh, will actually turn into a march fairly soon. But then there's Ethiopia. What do I do with you? Why can't I... Oh, you are already a rival. Ain't that a laugh. Estates are weird, says White Long. Well, estates are a Cossacks feature. Not too much I can uh, really change about that at the moment. The one thing that's really grinding my gears is not something you and Mary Nostrum, but warnings are bull crap. Okay. Why would we be watching you if we could play the game? <sighs> could you give a little recap on the state's mechanic and the re and reason to be DDR Jake? You mean the reason to be me? Because that's a tough one. Why be Jake? Not sure if I could ever give a good reason for that. All is well, and soon enough we'll have plenty of claims to be burning down our enemy here. And we're still making money, which is always nice. Don't like seeing that accept cultural shift, though I really want to get this province converted. It'll take 37 months to do, I will do it, and then I will culturally enrich it, maybe even a few provinces around it, and then we'll keep things going.
quite a lot coming up in the chat there. Zero corruption events might be a little OP, Jake. Aye, they are quite overpowered, aren't they? I might think about scaling them back, but on the other hand, uh, it does cost a fair bit to keep that corruption right down. Uh, shall give it some thought, mind. You could make the resilient state an innovative into a minus corruption idea. It would be nice to stop it being so useless. And i tell you what, I'm in a fairly good mood after putting out Manu Nostrum, because it always does feel pretty good getting the game out there. And I appreciate that not everybody will have it for whatever reason, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to throw a key right into the chat. I guess it's first come, first serve. And no, I don't just swindle these from Paradox, this is actually out of my own pocket, just because I, I can be nice sometimes, even though I say quite harsh things about you, and me, and a lot of games that I play. I think it's better remember those claims, and enjoy the next Kairi track. So here we go, I'm going to toss it in right there. Kapow. So, uh, grab it while it's hot, I guess. But grab it if you really want to play Mare Nostrum. And if you already have it, well then, lucky you. <laughs> nice guy, Jake. Let's not get carried away here. Yeah, it's a strange feeling when you actually work on a game and it goes out the door. Of course, it's never too great when you uh, then go onto the forums. Oh, what a terrible loss. Daniel is dead. You might even be watching right now, Dan Einel, but you are now dead. In fact, that fills me with a bit of worry. Because if I get an heir, I'm going to need to pull the trigger of war ASAP, because my ruler is bound to die. <laughs> I know that wasn't bad, Rats Hydro. Okay, so he is dead, and I get someone who is better than our previous guy. Unfortunately, now the Tyo dynasty is dead, which kind of makes me a bit sad, but the thing about dynastic is that you really don't control much about it. So we've got a nice, young, probably fertile ruler, and that's okay. I knew you were there, Daniel. I knew it. Jake, I'll be 100%. I've been trying to figure out the best way to kick the crap out of Castile with Granada, so I haven't even tested any of the new mechanics. Well, that is a an admirable goal. So I can get behind you doing that. Jake, the death of Dynasty is reason enough to go theocratic. How oh, I wish. I love theocracies. But dare I say we have unrest on the go now? Oh, we probably had it for uh, for a while, and I've just not paid attention to it. We would have less if we uh, actually had that. Not Inquisitor, but the other one. Yes, I'm so good at remembering things about this game. Clearly. That said, though, we don't have many claims left to grab on our enemy here. Before I'm going to start thinking about. Uh, well, other targets. Ethiopia needs to burn, although they are expanding quite well into Timurids, and yeah, their military tech looks fairly solid. Good thing about our ruler is that he's four in, ad in um, Diplo, so I can actually get that Diplo tech up and not face such harsh uh, unbalanced tech. In fact, unbalanced tech is now gone. The religious unity is hurting us at the moment, but we have to pay for that if we want to keep our corruption down. There's the thing though, if I just wanted to not pay the extra, I would just let corruption grow. But I like to think I'm disciplined enough with my money that I can kick some down the well and still be just fine. Jake, wouldn't, wouldn't you want to kill your 142 as well? It's better than a Republican, so I'm happy enough with that. Alright, we need to start getting ready for this invasion. Uh, I'm still gaining sailors, which is lovely. Let's get that army maintenance up. Let's get that fleet maintenance up, except the keel ones wish to rise up. Maybe I should take care of them first. Actually, that seems like a good idea. We'll deal with keel ones first. Which means I'm going to want this up in the go. 
Triumph of the Clergy. But uh, the trouble with the clergy is that they already have quite a lot of influence, 73%. It's going to go away in five years, but it's going to be ticking up at one per month for five. Yeah, I think we'll be okay. We'll follow their recommendations, even though it ups the stability cost and gives them influence for uh, an uncomfortably long time, actually. But we'll be okay. Hopefully. Scary. Scary. But I think we'll be okay. I got it covered. It is a calculated risk. Want those keel ones to rise up, and we expect them to rise up before too long. Gives us time to get our claims on the go. And like I said, soon we will be invading. Jake, what does the state's limit increase from admin tech actually do? I played a game where I had more states than the limit, and I couldn't see any penalties I was receiving. Uh, you can't have more states than the limit. It's a hard limit, so I couldn't have more than 23. I currently have 22. Uh, I don't care about Luapala. That said, I do wonder where it is. Okay. I really like copper, but again, I don't care to that point. Jake, why don't you adopt Hydronum's way and embrace the disaster? That sounds disaster and I will stay clear. So again, the Keelwinds wish to rise up. Probably going to be quite a few of them. Maybe I should keep a bit more of an eye on that. Since Keel will have a lot of... Oh, heavens, that's nice. Well, if we can't have Tio as our dynasty, we can at least have it as our name. Warsangali truce is over, but that's A-OK. -okay. Prove my legitimacy. Oh yeah, that'll be why we're facing revolt risks. It'd help if I paid attention to that kind of stuff. But we have a good strong claim. And what was our other thing? Conquer. Rival of rival should be our friend, but I'm about to go to war with them, so forget that. Eh, not gonna happen. Jake, are nations supposed to transfer trade power to you forever in a peace deal, or is that a bug? They're meant to transfer a peace deal. They're not going to cancel it unless they really hate your guts. And I mean really hate your guts. Transfer trade power is meant to be a much more meaningful thing to take in a peace deal now. There we go, as expected. What was not expected was 23,000 of them, but I am ever the prepared individual. Err, err. Ever the prepared individual. Ah, we got this. We have got this. And what luck, we've even got our capital done, and we can change it to Congolese. Don't even get the discount anymore, which is a little sickening, but what I can do, if I'm a clever individual, clever sausage if you will, Oh, I really shouldn't be giving out more land to the clergy, but it doesn't really give them that much influence. No, I, sh I shouldn't. Uh, I really shouldn't. Let's just get converting. Now, the Mombasans wish to rise up, strangely enough, in Mombasa. It's not something that I can increase the autonomy of, and they're due to rise up in about three years. Well, maybe I can soften that likelihood, because I really want to go to war. Let's get that fleet maintenance up and on the go. This is a little expensive what we're doing at the moment, but I think we'll be fine. Don't need no admiral. I've got a fairly decent general, who should probably lead our fairly decent troops. And we're going to destroy our enemy. And thankfully he still does not have the tech required to defeat us, which would be tech 12. Get our final claim on the go. And wouldn't it be funny if this entire war just went so unbelievably badly? That would be pretty funny, wouldn't it? Would love a bit of morale to bring to this fight. Although you are expensive, you might just end up being worth it. But six ducats a month, I'm not sure I can stomach that. But it's going to be an important war, the war for Madagascar. Jake, do you have a Twitter? Old Hoi 3 player with no idea about World War Wednesday, and now I'm hooked again and super excited for Hoi 4. Well, I'm very glad you enjoy it. Um, yes, I do have a Twitter. My Twitter handle is DDRJake, and you really should follow, because, not to gloat, but I honestly think I have the best Twitter account in existence, based on my personal experiences on Twitter and what I personally like.